fellow XP reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm jerking around a lot. It's I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Uh, jerky Dan. Uh, what are we drinking? Jerky boys, yo. Uh, this is from the Sierra Nevada Brewing Ooh. Company out of Chico, California. Oh, and uh, Mills River. Uh, Some sort of. North Carolina. Fresh. I feel like Mills beer. River. They're always like, how everyone always recognizes Chico, but they never mention us. That's bullshit. We make good beer here, too. Probably. Uh, this is our hazy little thing. Oh, okay. And this is an IPA. And it comes in at 6.7 ABV. Mm. And let's not we forget, Sierra Nevada, they're mm. family owned mm -hmm. and argued over. <laughs> they certainly Operated are. And they, argued over. they like to put that on um, labels. <laughs> So, Mike, you want to pour that up? I do. Um, so, well, hops in oh, this. Oh, you want me to open this one? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I see how it is. The top's looking a little oh, funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the hops in this one are Magnum, mm -hmm. Citra, Comet, Simcoe, Eldorado, and Mosaic. Yeah, I could have remembered all that. And <laughs> unlike the Gear Patrol, I can't remember everything off the top of my head. Like He's got cue cards. He does have cue cards. Uh, this is canned on 7-16-2024. Oh, so, we are about good. two months out exactly. She pretty good. Much. Um, um, well, yeah, two more. months in a yeah, week. Yeah, whatever. Um, when's the last time you had Hazy Little Thing? It's been a long time. Long time, because if I get Sierra Nevada, here's the thing. Oh, well, yeah, what are you getting? If I'm getting Sierra Nevada, uh -huh. just regular season. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just getting their pale ale, because it's so delicious. <laughs> it's so good. I love the well, pale ale. Or I'll get the yeah. mix pack that has, like, the different torpedo yeah, ones. Yeah, uh, um, that mix pack is... Uh, during, like, November and stuff, I can't wait, because... Uh -huh. It's a celebration! Yeah! Yeah, baby. Oh, celebration Nevada. is my favorite Sierra Nevada beer ever it's, made. It's one of my favorite beers yeah. ever made. Yeah. Uh, this is super hazy, very juicy. Looks, It, it looks cold, like kind of crisp. You know, it just it has that look to it. Do you hear that, Mike? You know what that is? That's the sound of my palate saying, feed me! Feed me! I will. Done. Well, let's smell it first. Oh, dirty, dirty orange. Oh, a little dirty peach. Oh, a little dirty beer. Give oh, me a spank, Mike. I will. <laughs> I'll spank it with my taste buds. Oh, that that does have like uh, this hearty citrus kind of leaning into tropical, but not all the way tropical. Yeah. Kind of feel to it. Um, I gotta say. It has that kind of Sierra Nevada danky dank thing going on. And I feel like it the beer wants to be a juice machine, but that danky dank's just I really want bad. I really want the taste to follow through with the nose. Very much so. Because it, it smells great. And in my opinion, out of all the supermarket beers, mm -hmm. in my opinion, Sierra Nevada is probably the greatest supermarket beer. Fact. Fact. Dan said it. Tastemaker. Steven. All the Sam Adams heads are like, no, but Sam is. Fuck Sam. I like Sam. The fuck is this shit? Tuesday? Bill Burr. It's time you coming? You gonna take a swing at your old man? Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. So, like I said before, and I know it's kind of hard to grab onto, but it. The mouthfeel, it tastes, it, it feels like it looks. Like it, when I said it looks like it's going to be crisp and kind of cold. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's not soft by any means. Uh, the carbonation is there, but it's just, it almost has like, for me at least, like lager properties. Like, and I know this is cold. I mean, obviously the can just wants to explode. But uh, are you getting all those flavors that are were on the aroma on the palate? I am. Um, the one thing I wasn't prepared for was how wet this is. It's Ooh. A, it, so it's a very wet IPA. And what, it, what I mean by... You heard it here on FLX. Liquids <laughs> are wet. <laughs> no, what I mean by wet IPA is that uh, as you take that first sip... Not wet of, hopped. Settle down, Joe's okay. It, it kind of just splashes all over the, mm. the, the mouth and the palate. That's a great way to put it. And it, it, it goes down, but it, there's no aspect of drying. And even the bittering effect really kind of stays wet like it just there's there's nothing sucking any saliva away from the palate it's just like everything's still there i'm still well hydrated kind of feel to it 
Um, I appreciate also that there is a nice um, malty undertone, mm-hmm. but it's not super malty, which with the supermarket IPAs, that tends to be a thing. Like they kind of sit on the shelf for a while. Yeah. The hops fall off. Uh, for being two plus a couple weeks old, two months, I think it's freaking fantastic. I mean, not for nothing, to your point there, not to be snobby, but if you're not as well-versed, that's something you want to look for in supermarket shelfy beers. Like, check the dates on them, because some of that stuff sits for a while. I will say there's a touch of shelf on there. A touch I can shelf. see what you're saying. Um, I'll tell you what. Like, I like... I feel like this whole beer mm-hmm. is on the front half of the palate, yeah. and then it's gone. Um, I feel like it's... See, I, it's... I disagree. I feel okay. like the, the whole beer is on the front of the palate, but that wetness comes behind and just... Okay. Uh, I I think it's juicy. Uh, I think that takes over. There There is, a for me, a drying kind of grassy bitterness to it, but it's, it's more like a 60-40 juice and then the drying bitterness. Mm. But for me, it's all on the front of the palate. It kind of washes away real quickly and makes me want to go in for another sip. It's a delicious sip, though. You can't go wrong with this. I think if you want like a hazy kind of juice, juicy IPA and you're in the supermarket, sure. I'll tell you what, it's a lot of lemon coming out in this now. Yeah, a bit of lemon head. Really, and really lemon. For 6.7, I think the body's appropriate. It's not too thin. Um, mm-mm, mm-mm. There is a, there's a bit of leafy green kind of thing going on in the back end. And it's not so much like a dank thing. It's like leafy green like kale spinach kind of leafy green okay uh maybe like a hint of like oniony kind of aspect sure, i can see the oniony part um yeah, yeah uh, it, it's a clean beer it's a very clean very beer. much so very matter of fact beer if that makes sense no so, nonsense like, it is no nonsense it is what it is matter of fact you're getting all everything the hops want to bring to it and, and, and the water profile everything is it, it's Sierra Nevada. They got their shit down. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with Sierra Nevada. I feel like. Yeah. There, now, here's the thing: it. is this the greatest IPA ever? No. But I'm I, what I'm saying and uh, what I'm praising it for is for what it brings, for the availability that it is. Oh yeah. And what it contends with. I. I'm not comparing this against a Treehouse, a Trillium, another half, or anything like that. I'm comparing this against your Voodoo Rangers, your. Uh, Sam Adams of the world, stuff like that. Sure. Right. I, I feel like we're almost talking about pure supermarket shelfy beers, and this is in your upper echelon, your top shelf, if you will, in the supermarket. Of If you want to go grab something that's reasonably priced, it's going to be solid every time, you can't go I'd pay like three this. bucks for this. Yeah, I'd pay three dollars for that. Only. You know what I mean? It's delicious. Like, three bucks? Sure. Mm-hmm. Grab this, bring it on your fishing trip. There you go. Sit yeah. on that. Grab a couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple of them. Perfect. Yep. Good, good. stuff. So, uh, yeah, did, did we officially rate it? I don't it? think we rated it. What are you giving it? Should have made a shelfy beer rating system. Go to three nine, three nine five. All right, I'm. I I'm, think, a, I'm almost a four. But I, I'm right there with you. I'm going to give it a it, solid four. If I, if I had fresh, I think maybe. Yeah, and even but that, it's, 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 you know what? That's the one knocking at Sierra Nevada. It's hard to find anything that's less than a month old. Again, that goes back to what I said before. When you're talking about these supermarket shelfy beers, you got to check dates. Like, that stuff oh, yeah. sits for so long. Bro, I, I almost bought a 12-pack of their uh, Pale Ale. And what's beautiful on the, well, semi-beautiful, because here's my other <laughs> knock. Okay, all right. So they'll print on the outside of the 12-pack, whether it's cans or bottles, Okay. the date that was packed on. Okay. However, I bought one of the variety packs and said, Oh, it was packed on this date. And open up beers, and uh, two of the beers were a month older than the date that it was packed Interesting. on. So it's like, sure, this 12-pack was packed on this date, but the beers inside may not have been bottled up. There were a couple left over from the previous pack that made it into this pack. Yeah. Detective Dan but, on the case. I mean, I guess that's what you pay for the availability, and... For the most part, a lot of their West Coast American style, they they hold up over time versus a, a juicy one. Oh yeah. So dates are key when you indeed figure this one out. Um, although the date, there's no. Well, on this one there is, but.
I know. On some of them, it's got some shock codes. Well, the point is, we are well past our prime. Uh, leave us a comment. Check out our Patreon. Thanks this for watching. It's going to be a short video. Cheers.